So he came in the hospital May 6th, and the doctor, uh, all three or four doctors that assessed him, estimated him to be five to seven days old. Mm -hmm. I assessed his breathing, his, you know, oxygen, just make sure that his breathing, because I'm a respiratory therapist, so just making sure he was um, breathing okay and that his oxygen was okay. And for the most part, he was, he was fine. Cold, hungry, wet, but he was fine. He didn't look like he was neglected or anything. He looked really good. And you know, God had me in the right place. So yeah, Tisha. I became, I believe I became his mommy that moment, that day. Right. Like I said, we were already approved to adopt through Children's Home Society. As a matter of fact, we had right. just got approved to adopt back in November. DCF had given me, um, Miss Fall. she placed him in my care. And that gave me the, um, the right to be there with him, and well, once he was placed in my care, that, that was that was it. He was going nowhere after that. Mm -hmm. So then, what was like that first week like with him? Oh All Lord, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, don't get me wrong. It was it's an awesome experience, and I'm grateful to God that I was able to get that experience with him. But it's challenging mm -hmm. to get up every two hours and feed. And not, you know, really know what you're doing. Some women have nine months to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. I had one week to prepare. <laughs> but um, I was singing hymns to him when he first got home, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's good. And then my coworkers were like, um, you need to learn some lullabies. I was like, <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> so I had to learn some lullabies. But say, mommy, I made it through I'm seven months now. You didn't break me. I just knew I was going to break them. But it's just been amazing. I mean, this is my Christmas gift. Because he's like, what you want for Christmas? I'm like, I already got my Christmas gift. <laughs> Christmas came to me back in May. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> he's my miracle, my angel. He's All my prayers has been answered. This is, this is what I've been praying for for years. Mine too. I think about mom too, you know. I really do, and I'm not here to judge, and all we, I can do is pray for her, and I still pray for her to this day. And I pray that God will let her know some kind of way that he's well taken care of. Adoption is a wonderful, wonderful thing. There's so many kids out there that need someone yeah. to take care of them and become their forever family. So I just believe that for all those, you don't have to be perfect to be an adoptive parent. So I just, I believe, especially for um, black, the black community, we need to adopt more if, if possible mm -hmm. to consider it and think about it. it. It just means so much. I mean, it's more than I could ever imagine or dream of. And just to have the experience to be someone's mom, is just wonderful. And he was definitely God sent. So I, I'm just thankful to God and just grateful and humble to have him.